This is Pete N6QW. We're looking at our new, my new transceiver, which I now call the FPM5. It's uh, take the main board out of a Helicrafter's FPM300, and we have now built a 5 watt QRP uh, all band transceiver out of it. Right now, it's only working on 40 meters. Audio, RF gain, CRF gain control, upper and lower sideband, mic gain, band switch, power switch, box push to talk, and this one over here is the tune, main tuning down. N6QW here. This is the FPM5 <clears throat> 5 watt transceiver, 5 watt QRP transceiver made out of a hulk of a FPM300 main board and S meter. And I added all the peripherals. Features an Arduino driving an SI5351. And uh, this will ultimately tune five bands. Here's the band switch here. Uh, WB6RC, uh, I think is the call. Uh, November 6, Quebec Whiskey, Norway 6, Queen Willie. Uh, the November 6 station, uh, please come again. This is WB6RC. Uh, WB6RC, uh, November 6, Quebec Whiskey, Norway 6, Queen Willie. The name is Pete. We're in Newberry Park, South Ventura County. 
This is Norway 6, Queen Willie. Uh, November 6, uh, Quebec uh, 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 Whiskey, uh, I believe that's the call sign. Uh, yeah, this is WB6RC. Uh, name is Rick. We just concluded the uh, Aries Red Cross uh, uh, net. Uh, but uh, welcome. Uh, N6QW, this is WB6RC. Yeah, very good, uh, Rick. Uh, name here is Pete. I was... Uh, we're located in uh, Ventura County, about 40 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles, and uh, just was interested in getting a, a signal report from you this morning. Uh, kind of cool this morning in Newberry Park, WB6RC N6QW. Uh, okay, uh, let's see, what was the handle again? Please come now. The handle was Pete, Papa, Echo, Tango, Echo. Pete is the handle, break. Uh, no, I sure don't. I sure don't. Um, I, I uh, don't know too many of the local hams, and uh, but uh, we were doing a little tuning on uh, on a radio here. This is a homebrew uh, transceiver. Actually, we took a hulk of a, an older transceiver and built uh, built a, a complete rig around it, running about 100 watts here with a, a small solid state amp. So uh, we're very interested in a uh, in a uh, signal and audio report, Rick. And uh, I wonder where you're located. I assume this is a Red Cross station giving your call. WB6RC, uh, November 6, Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, Pete, yeah, well, uh, you're coming in great with your homebrew. Uh, 9 plus 10, as I said, and Circuit Mirror 4, so uh, terrific signal. Uh, yeah, we're in uh, Burlingame, California, just uh, south of uh, San Francisco. So, uh, yeah, uh, you're doing just fine uh, coming up here. Uh, yeah, so uh, you're welcome to join us as well at any time uh, on Saturday morning. Uh, you may not have heard, but we have a, a net on uh, 75 meters at uh, 7.30 uh, every Saturday morning at, uh, at 38.90 uh, kilohertz and uh, lower side band. And then uh, at 7.45, we go up to uh, 60 meters. And, uh, well, this morning we did it on Channel 1. It varies. Uh, Yeah, well, you're going to laugh. It's a droopy dipole uh, and not, not up very high and uh, kind of in an L shape. So uh, I could probably help myself a lot, Rick, if I, uh, if I did a little more work in the antenna. And that's probably got to be uh, uh, top on the list here that uh, once we get this thing, uh, it's actually on a breadboard. I do have a front panel for it. If you look my call up in QRZ.com, uh, you'll see a picture of the rig. Uh, the very first picture in the body uh, of the uh, of the write up, and uh, we have a lot of fun here doing homebrew radios. Actually, uh, I've run this thing at a by its uh, by its lonesome. It'll do about four or five watts, and I've checked into some a uh, couple of other emergency nets with it. And uh, so this is nice to see. Uh, if we get the big one, uh, I'll have something that I can put on the air that uh, can run off of batteries. But uh, the the band is really strange. Just a few minutes ago, down at 155. Uh, I was here, a, a guy in Malaysia calling CQ for, for some contest, and uh, nobody was coming back to him, so uh, the, the band is both short, long, and medium, so uh, kind, kind of uh, heading into the winter months, and uh, I'm kind of excited about the possibility of some DX. Uh, Rick, I won't hold it here. I do need to, uh, I need to run, and I've stayed on the air much longer than I should have. And uh, I probably need to get moving here, but uh, I, I have noted your net times and the net frequencies. And uh, the, the thing that's uh, desirable about this radio, it has a, a PLL clock generator. So uh, to put it out of the bands is a matter of just uh, hooking up to the computer and changing the software. So uh, right now it, uh, it will actually tune from, uh, <clears throat> from all the way from 80 meters up to 10 meters. 
in one continuous band and I can step it through in one megahertz uh, steps. So uh, what will enable me to put it in other frequencies is the appropriate bandpass and low-pass filters. So I've only got two in there now for 20 and 40. Anyway, uh, thank you for recognizing my signal. You, you're very doing a really great job from Birmingham. You're 59 plus. WB6RC and 6QW. Seven threes, uh, WB six RC N six QW and now clear. Bye bye. K zero DTJ N six QW. Uh, K zero DTJ N six QW. Uh, name is Pete. We're in Newberry Park. Oh, wow. <laughs> you have made my day, Brian. Thank you. <laughs> you have made my day. Uh, one of the things I've been working on is is actually the audio, and part of that was uh, uh, the uh, the filter in here is a 9 megahertz filter, and I've had to, uh, in the software, tune the uh, lower sideband and upper sideband frequencies, and uh, part of the problem I had initially is it was not on the right frequency, and I wasn't getting very good audio reports. So you have absolutely made my my day. And by the way, you're 20 over 9 here. Very strong signal from Half Moon Bay. K0 DTJ N6QW. Okay, well, thanks for the report. Yeah, it's, uh, your audio is really punchy without uh, any effects on the uh, uh, Actually, this uh, board has a compressor on it. And I'm not sure exactly what it does. I, I've kind of set it uh, for what I think is medium, and uh, or or kind of minimum, I should say. And uh, I, I'm not real sure about what the original design was from Helicrafters, but it does have a compressor on it. And uh, I I've just kind of I think set it down to a point. The the instructions in uh, in the uh, setup um, are a little arcane, so uh, I may not be may not be exactly right. Uh, I am using a D104 microphone. And uh, it probably has not got a lot of lows in it and probably has a lot more highs, and that's probably the punch. K0DTJ and 6 qw Yeah, okay, yeah I, uh, I'm watching you on a, uh, a P3 pen I'm smiling from ear to ear. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. That's uh, really great because, uh, you know, I can listen to myself in another receiver and, and it's kind of hard to tell and I've recorded myself and my ears are kind of tinny anyway. So uh, thank you very much for that report. I do appreciate it. K0DTJ, have a great day, great weekend. N6QW, clear. N6 WIX uh, in Ventura. You must be Wayne. Uh, this is Pete here down in Newberry Park. N6 WIX, N6 QW. Well, thank you, and uh, I will do everything Brian said about the audio. I'm just surprised we haven't run into each other over the years. Uh, if you've lived in the area for quite a while, um, I was heavily involved in the um, emergency communications. I was the radio officer before uh, Rob. Uh, 
Yeah, very good, Wayne. Well, actually, I've only lived here in Newberry Park about three years. Uh, actually, was in the state of Washington for about 17 years, but uh, the, my ex-wife's health is not too good. And, uh, boy, where we lived to, uh, to go to Seattle to see the doctors was an all-day sojourn. So uh, living down here and we're in the UCLA health system, uh, really, uh, you know, what is a doctor's visit is an hour, not all day. So uh, we've lived here since 2013, and um, uh, I don't know too many of the locals, uh, not, in, not in any nets or any clubs or that sort of thing. So um, I, I just enjoy getting on the air, and uh, I don't know if you were copying before. This is a homebrew transceiver, so uh, uh, hopefully we've got most of the stuff uh, hooked up right here. It's on a breadboard right now, and I'm, I've got a front panel made for it. And if you uh, check, check me out on QRZ.com, you'll see a picture of the front panel and the, and the breadboard, and now I've got to make the transition into a box. So uh, we're really having a lot of fun here, and uh, this, uh, this rig can also run up to 700 watts with an SV200. But uh, nice to make your acquaintance, Wayne, and I uh, look forward to uh, maybe chatting with you uh, again here in the future. N6WIX, you, you're really strong, obviously, N6QW. Yeah, I sure do. Uh, I'd like to write down a phone number and I'll tell you what I'm doing. 